guys? It's your girl Lunatic Froggy. Today we are watching Law and Crime Network. We are watching seven, seven horrible parents on body cam. Let's get this started. Maybe I can show you guys some side effects of narcissists. Come up here with your seven year old. Right. They don't want people noticing it right now. My daughter goes to school right here. Right now, you're being arrested for child endangering um, at a felony level. Okay. A felony level? Yes. Ooh, we expect our mothers to be level. kind, loving, and compassionate. Willing All right, let's skip over this. Let's get to the first one. Admit several things to the officer almost right off the bat, including that her driver's license is suspended and she's undergoing treatment for drug addiction. Okay. So are you okay? Hey, you guys are you okay? That, hold on. If you guys didn't hear that, um. She admits that she is, like, literally, she's got fucking drug issues, okay? Are you okay? Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm just trying do, to... Do you have an ID? Down. I do. Can I see that, please? Yeah, do you mind just rolling suspended. down your window for me? It's suspended. That's okay. That's yeah. all right. It's I don't... Oh, damn. She's got a suspended license, and she's caught driving. That is a three hundred and thirty dollar fine. There's no, I'm not seeing anything on the on the ground. What do you mean? Oh, what, 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 what were you reaching down there for? My, I'm sorry, my. Uh... You can tell by your speech that she's very out of it, which is normally a sign that she's either on drugs or she's been drinking. Uh, that's okay. We'll we'll worry about that after. My peace can you see me? Can you just turn off the car for me? It's hard to see, hear you over the over the radio. Okay. I just took my methadone. You just took it? Yeah. How long ago? She's on methadone and driving. Recently, so this is what I'm doing. So, I'm trying to connect the two. Yeah, that's okay. I don't want you to worry about your phone right now. I just, let's just get the ID, okay? I, I do need your ID. Uh, she asked for the ID. That's all she's asked for so far. And it has been... I don't have a driver's license. It's suspended. Okay. I just recently got methadone. My methadone. Um, I have friends that were on methadone. And they literally... Um, had to go in and do it. So she just got her methadone. She just got done getting it. But let's continue. It is. I'm not going to do the full 41 minutes. What I'm going to do. Is I'm going to do a couple of them. And yes I'm leaving Law and Crime Network in there. Just so that way people can see. Who the original video person was. I'm giving full credit to uh, law and crime. I just wanted to react because these are some bad parents. I know. Okay. This is my daughter's school. I know, but we got to call the people who are worried about you, so we need to make sure you're okay. They was sitting outside because of this. They not see me. Dude, it's going to be the RO. So, I'm going to have you... Suspended. Okay, I'm just going to have you put your wallet up there for me on the, on the yeah, dash, okay? Absolutely. All right. I don't want to lose this piece. No, that's okay. You can leave that up there, too. Okay. Now, you said you took methadone. When was the last time you took methadone? I just took it. I just took my dose. When was that? When if anybody knows what methadone does to a person, methadone is basically a form of meth. It's a form of meth that they give meth addicts so they don't go into withdrawals because withdrawals are horrible and can kill people. Why is she driving? What's, um, what's like an hour ago this morning? Like an hour ago. An hour ago. Do you take it every day usually? Yeah. Do you usually? I'm going to have you just, okay. usually, the, you can yes, put those I in your car. Them every day. Here, oh, I can take right, your sunglasses. No, I don't want people noticing oh, me right yeah, now. My daughter goes to school right here. Why would you, well, I mean, she sits out there because she doesn't have a driver's license. But that's just going to get you busted from the police a lot easier. I haven't taken my medicine or anything, so. 
Ready. Have we? Have you been drinking anything today? No. No alcohol, nothing like that. No, no but she's I a have, fucking uh, bad. My methadone. Your methadone? Okay. Have yeah. we done any other drugs or anything like that? No. No. no I'm a uh, oh weed. I weed? You oh, smoked weed? weed? Yes. Okay. okay. You, what? How long ago was that? That was uh, eight o'clock. I had a this trip. morning or last yep. night. I got a med trip. A med trip? Okay. A med trip how much? Over. How much? She's on meth and weed and sitting to wait for her daughter. Fucking parent of the year. So you, how much did you smoke? Uh, or were they edibles? Joint. Less than a joint? Yeah. Okay. Since Morissette seems to be having trouble and because she drove her daughter to the school, the officers want to see how she does on field sobriety tests. Right away, Morissette has a lot of excuses for why she might not perform well. Now, would you mind uh, performing the field sobriety tests for me? I need to listen. I need to make sure that you're okay to drive. Yes, I will. So you'd be you'd be willing to do that for me? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna have you take your sunglasses off, okay? And you can just put them right up here for me, okay? All right. All right. And I'm gonna have you step right back here with me. All right. And I'm just gonna have you turn around for for quick quest. Oh, no. it only falls. She can't even fucking stand. The bitch has got to be drunk because I know a lot of meth heads that literally are out riding bike. Not fucking toppling over. Turn around. I just need to make sure you have no weapons on you. Okay. That's all. No. You don't have anything on you, do you? No. All right. I'm going to have you turn around for me. All right. I'm going to have you She might topple over. Take one step closer to me. I have no fucking sympathy. And I'm going to tell you right here, right now. I have no sympathy for mothers that do meth, do drugs, or anything along that line. It is a choice, and everybody says that addiction is a mental disorder. You're right, it is. I'm addicted to vapes. I chose to pick up the vape. I chose to pick up the cigarettes. I chose to pick up the alcohol. If you guys didn't know, I am a recovering alcoholic. I chose to do those things. I did not fucking... It is not, I knew I had an addictive personality, yes, but it is your choice knowing that shit and picking it up. And if you don't know that you have an addictive personality, sit down, think back, and look at all the shit you've done and see if it's an addictive personality. Okay. All right. I'm sure I have to take one more. Two days, we're going to start testing. All right, I'm going to stand with your feet together and your arms at your sides, okay? Can you put your feet together just like mine? No, my my legs are too fat. I would fail this. I would. Because my legs are too fucking fat for that shit. Um, I'm not Perfect. really... Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I just want you to do the best you can, okay? So yeah. I have a couple questions for you, okay? Do you wear glasses or contacts? I do not, but I have eye light sensitivity. Eye light sensitivity? Yes. Okay. Um, are, you, are you a diabetic? I am not. You're not a diabetic? Well, I'm pre-diabetic. I don't no, really You're know. not diagnosed with diabetes? Not yet. Okay. Um, are you injured in any sort of way? Yes. What, what injuries? My back from my shoulder. My back from my shoulder. Down to okay. my, my bottom. Okay. I was just recently in a car accident. That's, I mean, that's an injury, but... That's one hell of a fucking injury. Back down to the sh butt. Uh, back, uh, the shoulder to the butt. On her back. That's not gonna... Well, it might habitate you from walking. I mean, fuck, I have fibromyalgia and my back fucking hurts and it habitates me from walking. But at the same point in time... Um... I don't know. I just don't believe her excuses. You were? Okay. Yeah. Um, any injuries diagnosed by, like, a doctor or anything yes. like that? What, do you, what, what were they, if you don't mind me asking? My, I, I have... I'm sorry, I don't have the official... It's okay. It's okay. Diagnosis. Does it prohibit you from, from walking in a straight line? Yes, it prohibits it, me from walking in a straight line, sitting, sitting too long, okay. areas like that. Okay, so the only thing I'm going to ask, okay, is just... How long was she sitting out in front of that school? Because if... Normally, like, one, two people see you sit out in front of a school. It's not fucking uh, 
they're not going to make a call. But if you're like asleep behind the wheel, they will. And it don't look that busy on the street. So, it, I don't know. Just do the best you can, okay? And, I, and that'll all be taken yeah, into consideration. I already know this. So okay. Like, yeah. Okay. All right. So stand with your feet together. Okay. And your arms at your sides. Okay. Don't want you to move from this position unless I instruct you to do so. Okay. okay. Do you understand? Sorry about that. I want you to look at the tip of my finger right here. Okay. And I want the sun is right there, so it's affecting. Here, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna have you stand right there for me. Okay. Is that better? Because the sun's back there. Yes. All right. The officer first has Morris set follow her finger with her eyes without having to move her head or neck. When they move on to the exercises involving movement, Morris set struggles. All right. So I just want you to put your right foot right in front of your left foot. Skin it. All right. That's okay. I have equilibrium problems, and I could probably do at least three of them before I topple the fuck over or, you know, trip over my own feet, but not standing still i i have equilibrium problems where i can't sit still okay that's okay um so what i'm gonna have you do i'm gonna have you the only reason i'm being so hard on this bitch is because she's in front of her kids school her kids school hi i'm fucking weed methadone and god knows what else take a step towards me okay i'm gonna have you stand with your feet together okay i'm gonna have you keep on your the line it's okay. The line doesn't matter for this one, okay? I'm going to have you keep your arms at your sides, okay? And I don't want you to move from this position unless I instruct you to do so, okay? Do you understand? Yeah. All right. When I tell you to begin, you're going to lift a foot of your choosing approximately six inches off the ground, okay? Okay. Aw, there's the little school bus. I want you to keep your arms at your sides. You're going to keep the sole of your foot parallel with the ground, okay? So what that means is the sole, the bottom of your foot is to be flat with the ground. I don't want it pointed up or down or anything like that, okay? Okay. And that's so, the one that's lifted. Yep, yep, okay. the one that's lifted, yep. Okay. So when you lift that foot up, I want you to look down at the toe of your lifted foot, okay? So if you pick up your right foot, you're going to look down at your right your right toe, okay? Okay. Okay? Um, and you're going to count out loud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on and so forth until I tell you to stop. Okay. Okay? So it's going to look something like this, okay? So you're going to keep both your legs straight, keep your arms at your sides, lift the foot of your choosing approximately six inches off the ground, okay? okay? Keep the foot parallel to the ground, so... 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Again, look. Is it seriously that fucking long for them to explain the, the things? Because I never had it go that long. Damn. At the toe of your foot. Okay. Of your can raised you foot. Can move your hat a little bit? For so what? I can see your eyes. So my eyes were just, my eyes were looking down at my toes. Okay. That's, I believe I so, yeah. Okay, That's do you want me to explain it? To it? Can, yes. Do you want me to explain it one more time? So no. you, so you have it? But I do need to figure out which foot I have best balance on. That's okay. Right now. That's okay. So give me one second, okay? And then I'll tell you to begin, okay? So again, don't stop until I tell you to stop, okay? All right. You may begin. Whoa, I'm not beginning. I'm trying to figure out which side I'm going to be starting her on. Okay. That's what I just said. Okay, to okay. You, Try. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Go for it. Go, go ahead. All right, I'm sure you stand right there for one second. As the officer goes to confer with a colleague, another officer tries to keep Morris at calm. You're all right. Um, why would you? She can't even stand. She's just toppling over. You can see she's high. Um, well, my sister Tia was on a bunch of different, like, Depakote and shit, and I was on Depakote. I had the same reaction where I was just like, uh dragged out of my fucking brain so what other besides methadone is she on no i know i'm not okay we're trying to figure it out because i'm not supposed to be i just took off i need to speak to my lawyer okay yeah you have that opportunity okay so when are you coming from work are you work at herbs or no no oh i'm coming from home i'm suspended okay suspended driving uh, yes okay and i got Veo to drive me to the methadone clinic okay which i'm only on 30 milligrams okay and then i came here okay i'm tired okay. i'm exhausted i've been you. going through nonsense okay so yeah and there's a lot of things that affect this and i already know what you guys are going to do it's embarrassing I okay i want to get out of here when the officer returns it's not good news for morissette so i'm just gonna go over here for me okay yeah right here right here right here okay all right, I'm gonna have you just face that way. Face, face yeah, your car. Put me in the I'm gonna have you face your car. Okay, face your car for me. We're gonna roll up your sleeves, okay? Call me getting arrested. 
You said you take methadone? Is it, is it prescribed for you? It is? Okay, did you take your prescribed amount? You did? You know what's sad? Because she's on methadone and it's prescribed, she will continue to get methadone. That's what... That's the sad part. Having more and more trouble communicating. Hey, wait, I'm just gonna check your pockets one more time. I don't, I, I don't think I missed it, but. They're not in okay. there. They're okay. in my black coat pocket. Black on coat the pocket? Right okay, part. okay. Uh, can you listen? I'm listening. You said black coat pocket on the right hand side? No. Okay. Black hand coat. The, black, the right side has a hole in it. Okay. It goes forever. Oh, did it fall in the hole, maybe? maybe. Okay. Okay, I'll check. Eventually, the officers find the set of keys and the car is taken to impound where Morissette is then taken to booking. Morissette was charged with DUI, operating a motor vehicle on a suspended license, and risk of injury to a child. Thank God they threw the fucking child in there because she was sitting outside of a school. All right, let's get on to the next one. She's expected back in a Connecticut. I don't really care about her. Let's move on to the next one. I'm sorry. I, I don't like um, crackheads. I don't like people who put children in injuries. And then I noticed there was a baby in the back seat, like in a car seat. It's July 2023. Deputies spot the car, which is now jutting up out of a ditch onto the side of a road. They ask the driver, Aisha Cameron, what's going on. Hey, I was going to pull over because I had to take my baby pamper. I was trying to change my baby's pamper, and I don't know, I was just trying to pull over to change his pamper, and then I thought this was a side road, so I could change his pamper, and it's not. <laughs> Let's wait right here. He's checking on him, okay? okay. Where are we coming from tonight? I, it is 1.25 2, 2, speed, just so that way we can get through a couple of them quicker. So, she was trying to change the baby's diaper and drove in a ditch. Okay, that's what's happened here. Oh, I'm going to my house, but I had to pay, change the camera. Okay. But I thought this was a side road, so I could change the camera. I got you. The two deputies then find a two-year-old boy in the backseat of the car, not buckled into his car seat. Is that mama? Is that mama? Why would that baby not be buckled? Why don't y'all, I smelled it whenever I fucked with it for a minute. Why don't y'all start? He's going to take him. That's fine. Um, I don't know if we're going to call this a crash. Did she hit anything? If she could dip through the ditch. I would, uh, uh, they smell alcohol? Or weed? Or both? Hey, Bubba, you want to go to him? Hey, yeah, what's your name? Oh, goodness. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to hang on to him just for a second. Obviously, not going anywhere. They need to talk to you about an issue that they're having. And, uh, no problem. Just step up do you hear the bullfrogs in the back? All right, ma'am. So we received a call, um, a few calls about the way you were driving, okay? And our corporal was able to pull up behind you and observe some of your driving pattern. Mm -hmm. And along with the driving pattern, and then when you pulled over the side of the road, I understand we couldn't see in the ditch, okay? Yeah. But with, mm -hmm. but with all that combined, mm -hmm. okay, we are going to ask for you to um, participate in some fuel. She is glossy as Fuck. Either she's majorly sweating or she's wearing a hell of a fucking highlighter. Sobriety okay. exercises okay. just to make sure everything's. Why would you adjust your bra boobs like that? Okay, okay. And, okay. and we're gonna go from there, okay? Yes. okay? That right there, what she just did. I know what that is. God, I'm a fucking idiot. Do you know what that is? That is a. Uh, let me adjust myself so maybe, just maybe, you pay attention to my fucking titties and not what I did. That is her way of trying to get out of it. All right. And I'm surprised nobody else caught that. And you're willing to participate in the field sobriety yes, exercises? Sir. Despite being friendly and cooperative with them, the deputies don't believe Cameron performed very well during these tests, so they take her into custody. I wouldn't survive those tests either. Alright, just step to the front of that car for me, please. Put your shoes back on. Can I hold it up? Just give us one second. I, I know oh, you want to hold your baby. I get it. I get it. Right here to the no, front of the car. It's not a bug on your car. There's a lot of bugs out here. Yeah, look, it's a lot of bugs on your car. Look, it's a bug on your car. <laughs> 
just throw the bounce up. All right, man. We got one more exercise for you, okay? okay? Stick both your hands out to the side, okay? You turn around. All right, place both your hands behind your back, okay? Ha! <laughs> that fucking cop got her. I'm going to do it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Put your hands together like you're praying, okay? In place under we got one more exercise for you. Stick your hands out like this and put them behind your back and pray. Press or suspicion of DUI, okay? Captain, Captain, who's, the, who's the closest family to come pick up your son? Wow. Um, anybody in Banal? Anybody in Broncos? Anybody? I got. I'm not. I'm not. Tripping. No, you're good. I'm just gonna walk you. So we just don't want to switch down on you. Yeah. Hurt you. Um, I got my dad, but they're in Sanford. I have people in Palatka. If you get my phone, I can call them. Do you right. trust the people in Palacco with your yeah, son? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't want him to, you know, yeah. trip him. They should be, if she fucking hit that ditch like that, they should be taking that car seat. But he wasn't buckled into it anyway, so that... Uh... Oh, this is a long day. An investigation found camera... She's not even fucking worried. She's like, oh, this is a long day. Fuck you! That is your fucking child they are fucking taking away from you right now. Because you wanted to drink and drive. Cameron's blood alcohol level was 0.15, almost two times the legal limit. To 0.15 and you have your fucking child in the car? Drive. She was charged with child neglect with great bodily harm and DUI. She was that baby hurt? That baby had to have been fucking hurt. With great, oh, without great bodily harm. So no, the baby wasn't hurt this time. She's due in court in April. Next, we head to Deland, Florida, where this mom's actions absolutely stunned local police. Officers responded. I watched this one. Get ready to be the most pissed off you could fucking be to a bar around two in the morning on October, 2023. So we've got a little girl inside and um, her mom was here earlier. Okay. She looks just The mom was here earlier. Just like her mom, which is like immediately when she came in, she came in after we closed, she walked up to the door and she was immediately welcome. She's like, why is her little kid here? Cause I, I actually got under my seat and I was like, who the f brought their kid to a bar this day? And I realized she's just missing. She just doesn't know where her mom is. The officers then speak with a seven year old inside the bar. A fucking seven-year-old left a seven-year-old out to sit in the car while you go to the bar and hook up. But that's to come. Or where staff has set her up with French fries and apple juice. She tells. Aww, I love that bar. Tells the officer she was asleep in a car in the parking lot, but when she woke up, her mom wasn't around. You said you walked from your car. She was asleep in the car in the parking lot. Mom didn't have a babysitter and wanted to go drinking, so brought the kid to the fucking bar. Yeah, because, um, she... Now, m don't get you wrong, okay? I have known people who have had sober cats who have gone to a bar and grill, which means that children are allowed to be there. I was one of those children that was allowed to be there. <laughs> but my dad wasn't drinking because he was a recovering alcoholic. And he wasn't drinking, but we went to the bar for hours. And I played on the uh, claw machines. That's a whole different scenario. I fell asleep during it and then she had a bed there ever since because we um, got there and like kept it and then, and then I, my mom said it wouldn't be long and then she, um, after like 5 to 10 minutes she, she just haven't came back. Okay. The officers start calling the girl's mom, identified as Veronica Elliott, and searching the area to try to find her. Around four hours later, Elliott saw... Four hours later later the mom came back the cops sat with that child for four hours suddenly wakes up to police in the dark parking lot 6 30 in the morning yeah wow kind of kind of an issue yeah. see where we're coming from 
Absolutely. So we need to talk. And I've got two detectives on the way, I think, actually. So. The officer's anger is palpable. If I was that officer, I wouldn't even fucking talk. Talked. I would have just arrested the bitch. Like, here you fucking go. On the body camera video. <laughs> she, uh, was heading back to her car to get her dog. Where from? Um, from another car. Um, from another car. If that was me. And this is where we're going to learn about narcissistic behaviors. If that was any decent human being, decent fucking human being, it would have been, oh my fucking God, what the fuck happened? I, f I was hanging with my friend. I woke up in a car. Where's my daughter? Who has my daughter? Which car? Um, over there. Which car? Um, over there. You realize that it's 6.30 in the morning, right? I, I do now. And you realize that your daughter, seven? Yes. Seven years old, has been by herself with us for four? Elliot says she had been asleep in another car that looked very similar to hers on the other side of the gravel lot. She tries to explain how the situation unfolded, but can't seem to remember much. Were you in the car alone? So, wait, you were in the car alone? Yes. Whose car is it? I have no idea. Why are you in someone's car you don't even know? I have, I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to answer your questions because I don't want to get myself in more fucking trouble. You understand how this looks, right? I do. What's your uh, drug of choice? My, my drug of choice is alcohol, but like I, I don't know how I ended up in the car. I just woke up in the car, honestly. I don't know how I woke up in the car, but I woke up in the car. My drug of choice is alcohol. Now, it was later determined, I think, she might have been roofied. Which would explain a lot. How did you end up here? Um, I, I came here to meet friends. Yeah. So, like, all I, all I know is I, I came here to meet friends. Um, and then I, I woke up in the car. Yeah, we're not. I came here to meet my friend Renan, and then I woke up in that car. That's all I know. I, I, I really didn't mean to meet, leave my seven-year-old alone in the, in the car. I would never do such a thing. I mean, her, her, her dad died last year. He was murdered. He was stabbed in, 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 a, in a, an art. Um, like, I would never... Right there. They didn't need to know any of that fucking information. That is a pity me... My daughter went through this. I didn't mean to do this, but pity me. The cops did not need to know that her dad was stabbed or murdered or unalive or anything along those lines. They did not need to know that. That is a way of uh, 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 trying to get out of her fucking issue she's in right now. Never try to leave my seven year old alone. So I would never leave my seven year old alone. Even though I brought her to a fucking bar to meet up with friends where she had to sit in the car by herself for God knows how long before she went inside. When you met your friends here, Renan? Yes. When you met Renan here, did you go into the bar? Yes, absolutely. Did you have a drink? Yes. What was the last thing you remember? The last thing I remember is me and my friend were not here and then having a drink and that's it. But like, I mean, I'm not an alcoholic. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I can hold my drink. Like, I'm, I'm 35 years old. You know what I mean? Like, that was probably like my third drink. You know what I mean? So, um, it, it shouldn't have knocked me out, but you I feel... don't know why I was in that car. Now, I'm not a woman and yeah, I don't right. know how things I'm are. Sorry, I understand. Do you feel like maybe you were violated in any way? I don't know. Like, I woke up in a car that wasn't mine. I woke up in a situation where I, I didn't know where I was at. Um, were your clothes on? My clothes were on, yes. Um, my clothes were buttoned, yes. Um, but um, 
don't know how I ended up like this. You know what I mean? Like, if she was roofied, there might be a possibility that she did put her own clothes on while she was drugged. It shouldn't have ended up like this. I, I'd never been in a Oh, right. It shouldn't have ended up like this. Right. Right. Also, probably shouldn't have come up here with your seven-year-old. Right. Well. Fucking amen to that police officer. I just came up here to, to, to say hi to my friend, have a drink, and then leave. But, like, obviously. I came up here to... Abandon my child, who's already been abandoned by her daddy, who passed away. So it wasn't abandonment, but that baby's going to have abandonment issues because daddy's gone now. In a car, so I could go drink with my boy toy of the fucking week. Possibly get some fucking drugs. Got roofied and left my daughter for four... Four plus hours. It didn't turn out that way. You know what I mean? So right, you get three drinks? So, yes. What is it that you drink? Um, I drink beer. Yes. So I had two beers um, before I came here. I, mean, I had a beer when I got here. So I drove drunk. I drove with alcohol in my system with my child in the car. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I know I'm stopping this a lot, and it's really fucking irritating me, because one of the things I was taught when I was younger, do not fucking drive drunk. Do you know how many times I will not drink, so Roy can drink, and I drive? There is no one, two, we're fine, we can drive, if I... Alcohol touches somebody's mouth. You have a designated fucking sober cab. Sober driver. 100%. And that's the way I was taught. And that's the way 90% of the people in my fucking generation, and I'm old as hell, was taught. To drive with your child in your car, while you have alcohol in your system, is fucked up. Yeah, I, I don't know how I got from two beers before here and then one beer and here. I had one beer here. While the officers are concerned about whether Elliot may have been drugged, they're more concerned about her daughter. We're not around here because right. a seven year old was left by herself to walk into a bar of strangers right. who could have been the most god awful people on the planet, but thankfully they've been nothing but angels the right. entire time. Yes, they have devoted their time since she came in the bar to make sure that this traumatic experience mm -hmm. does not become a severely traumatic experience. Yes, Fucking amen to that bar. Okay. okay. The people in there were nice. Right. Had they not been nice, somebody could have been like, you know what, I'm going to help you find your mom. Come get in my car. Let's right. go. Mm -hmm. That baby could have been kidnapped. That baby could have been. There could have been a lot of issues with that baby, and that woman is not even fucking worried about that. You can tell in her voice. She's so nonchalant. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm, right. Mm. What? Then you never see your daughter again. Yes, sir. Probably sold on the black market. Yes, sir. Yeah, become a, a, a or freaking, you know, sleep okay. or something. Yeah. You know. Thank you for bleeping that out, lawn crime. But yeah, the, the baby could have been sold on the black market. The baby could have been taken to a very bad situation where she met her maker without a justifiable reason. Fuck this mother. Know, or dead. Okay. We could have just found her in that ditch down there. Right. But we were looking for you. I mean, this is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. this is horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got a bunch of parents? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, fuck this bitch! Out here, and these all these cops are parents out here, and I'm talking. Oh, okay. We're mad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I don't know what that was. Three years. Whatever. Three years. She doesn't give a rat's ass about her fucking child. It could have been taken. You know what I'm saying? Six hours. I mean, three years. I don't know. Well, it was worth it. No, I don't know. At least she's okay. Yeah. At least your daughter's smart. That's all, I, that's all I care about. We thought you were dead. Yeah, we thought you were dead. That's all I care about. No, you fucking don't. 
Hey, straight up, we had a dog tracking for you. We're like, she's in a dip somewhere. She's got to be because no sane person you can't is not the victim of a crime. 2 a.m. asking where mom is. Right. <laughs> Ridiculous. Elliot was then arrested and charged with neglect of a child. The seven-year-old was taken in by Child and Family Services. Elliot Hopefully, it gets a f that child gets a fucking better family. Elliot has entered a not guilty plea and has her next pretrial hearing in April 2024. So we're gonna get back to after. Okay, we're gonna skip over this. Because this is their sponsor. All right. Let's start. 22 and police have gotten a call about a dangerous driver weaving in and out of lanes and driving on the wrong side of the road. Video shows police officers and Good Samaritans boxing the SUV and at an intersection. They put down stop sticks under the tires and try to talk to the driver who we know is Sierra Hibbert. But instead of cooperating, Hibbert drives the SUV forwards and backwards, hitting several cars, a police officer and some witnesses. Holy fucking shit. Get out the door! Get out! Get out! Tires are flat! You can hear the squeal of the tires and the revving of engines as Hibbert tries to get away from law enforcement. He's not gonna make it far. God damn. If there's a fucking baby in that car, you're gonna see Rocky lose her shit. Go. But the officer's prediction is wrong. Hibbert takes off again. They're finally able to get her to stop, and officers move in to arrest her while a witness runs up to check on the child in the back. There's a fucking child in there! Why would you drive like that with a Fucking child! Exit. You can hear the witness screaming at Hibbert on body camera footage, but Hibbert insists she didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong! Bitch! No! Fuck you! You don't deserve your child. Get the fuck out of that car, go fucking to jail, and let somebody raise your child who fucking deserves it. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Sorry. You just tried to kill 10 people. No, I didn't, sir. Alex, no. Sir, stop. Sir, I didn't do it. Stop. You have to stop. Why have you done Stop. Stop. I didn't. I didn't do it. It won't fit. It won't fit. Get it. Make it fit. Her car is smashed to fucking pieces. You all seen that, right? Her car is smashed. I didn't do it. I didn't do what you guys were talking about. I didn't do anything you guys were talking about. No. I need to direct three police cars. No, I did not. And a couple others. About three stop signs ago and started saying that I was driving recklessly and I was not. Well, I you couldn't care. kill that kid. I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. You almost killed three <laughs> that fucking lady has a lot more I give that fucking lady that just jumped in that car fucking respect because I would have fucking decked that mother mm. people how what are you doing don't even ask how how you keep freaking me you put in my car yeah yeah, no, we're good. Thank you. Hibbert was arrested and booked into the Peach County Jail, although the exact charges she faces remains unclear. Now we're in Fairborn, Ohio. That fucking lady needs to be put in jail in a fucking mental institution. And this, this is why we have so many kids in the goddamn foster system because of fucking worthless mothers like this. This is why I do what I fucking do. This is why every fucking time I post a video about mental health, I expect people to fucking listen. Why? Because it 
fucking inhibits you to do stupid shit that affects your fucking kids. It's not about you. It's about your children. 100%. There is too many fucking mothers out there that want to constantly be, I didn't do nothing. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. You can't prove it. I didn't hurt my children. Yes, you fucking did. You mentally scarred your children doing that shit. I have been in a situation where I had cops. It wasn't me. It was my guardian at the time. Fucking stole. There was cops lining my fucking street. I remember that shit. I was 12 years old. And I remember it. And it still fucking haunts me to today. And I've had hell of therapy to get over the scars that fucking remain from it. Because it was traumatic to be put in a situation I should not have been at a fucking minor. And these can't fucking parents want to act like it's okay. It's not okay to put your child in a situation that fucking harms them. Mentally, physically, or spiritually. And that's for all the people that you shouldn't... To Jehovah Witnesses who fucking raise their child that everything is wrong. Um, the LSD church, which sounds like a fucking bad trip. Guess what it is? All these fucking cults that have children and raising their children in a cult to believe one fucking thing. It is damaging to your children and I don't understand why parents don't understand this. Yes, it's a mental fucking issue, but at the same point in time, if more than one of your friends is saying, hey, go get fucking therapy, it's a sign to go get therapy. And yes, I'm fucking hot about this and sorry I'm yelling, but I can't deal with fucking bad parents. Iowa, where authorities are responding to what they're calling one of the worst child endangerment cases they've ever seen. Officers responded to an apartment complex in January 2024 after an anonymous caller said a three-year-old was having trouble breathing and needed to go to the hospital. When the officers arrived, no one answered the door, but it was unlocked. And what they found inside was horrid. Fairmore Police. Fairmore Police Department. Three, zero, five. Yeah. Good. Somebody called the number back. Hold your mail, answer your phone. No, it is. Oh. Ariel, it is, and no one needs his phone. Oh, my God. Oh, phone number that came up. Come on. Yeah. Airborne police. Oh, she's still breathing. She's still breathing. Let's go. Let's go. She's still breathing. Get a light. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that fucking bed. Look at all those fucking infamil fucking bottles. Why would somebody do that to a baby? Why? Can't even fucking look at all the fly traps. Look at that fucking bed. That's a baby. Oh, yeah. Let well, yeah. me get out of the way. It didn't look like it. Cow. I'd say just pick it up and look good. Yeah. yeah. Really fucking bogey. 295. And where's the mother? Where is the mother? The door's unlocked. Nobody's there. Where's the fucking mother? Oh. All right. Excuse me. Call code enforcement. Have them respond, please. 
Who lives here? We haven't even got that far. The emaciated little girl was laying on the floor in the back bedroom, surrounded by garbage, animal feces, and dead rodents. She was then rushed to a hospital. Hold on. That poor baby, emaciated baby, which means that baby has... was surrounded by dead rodents. Animal feces. They left their baby to die. I haven't seen this part. I fell asleep. Okay. It's okay. Froggy, you can get through this. Police determined the child's mother, Ray B. Immobile, was the one who was called 911 and I'm gonna fat shame. I am fat. I am fat. 100%. Y'all have seen my son. He is healthy. That fat bitch left her daughter to die. Starved her daughter. That fat bitch needs to be thrown in isolation and left to die. And then left the home. She eventually returned and was arrested. Well, right now we're trying to figure out a whole bunch of things, right? A whole bunch of details. Um, you need to fix it. My back is killing um, me. What do you, you want? No, you fat fucking bitch! Stand! Just sit down. <laughs> you can have we're, a seat we're, back yeah, we're going to have, have a seat in the back of my car. Um, Are you guys taking me? What's that? Are you guys taking me? Uh, Yes, you fat fucking hoe. They are taking you, and I hope they throw away the fucking key. Uh, yeah, we are. Okay. Okay. So Can let's. Stuff to him, then, I'll, I'll take care of that. Let's. Uh, let's. No, fuck your shit. Walk in the front of my car. All right. An officer put Mobley in the squad car, handcuffing her hands in front of her after she complained about back pain. She then questions the officer about her child's well-being. She complained about back pain, so that way they did fucking put her in handcuffs in the front. Fuck that bitch. Make her suffer like that fucking child did. Do you know anything about her condition? She's okay. Um, I do not. Oh, you're gonna ask if your fucking child that you left to fucking starve to death in fucking animal feces in a fucking mess with rodents dead rodents around her is okay you didn't care before why do you care now um right now you're being arrested for child endangering um at a felony level okay felony level? yes um no nah, that bitch fucking deserves worse we um, are still, we, we're doing our thing that we have to do, okay? Uh, as Detective Whitaker mentioned, he will be in speak with you. Uh, right now, we're going to go to our jail in Fairborn and uh, process on those charges and then um, go from there. And as we go through these, this process, I'll try to answer any questions I can best of my ability, okay? She was shocked. She got a felony level because she almost killed their fucking kid. Are you fucking kidding me? She'll say the little girl weighed only 16 pounds. That's what a four-month-old should weigh. Pounds. A healthy three-year-old weighs between 26 and 38 pounds, according to the CDC. The mom reportedly told police that she suffers from PTSD. I suffer from PTSD. I didn't want to get it fucking taken care of, so I neglected my child. And is unable to take care of her daughter or the apartment complex. So fucking get help! because she sleeps all day. The apartment was later condemned by the city. Mobley was charged. She had to have an apartment condemned by the city. Charged with child endangerment, and as of this recording, she's locked up in a jail on a $200,000 bond. Nobody paid that bond. 
Now we're in Georgia, where a mother's in big trouble with the law after police found five unbuckled children in the back of her car after she led them on a high-speed chase down an interstate in the rain and going more than 100 miles an hour. It happened in December 2022. Deputies say they initially pulled over the car Gloria's Harrison was driving because she didn't have her headlights on despite the rain. Harrison's passenger owned the car. He was wanted out of another Georgia County for a probation violation, and police in Los Angeles wanted him on firearms charges. But when the passenger realizes the jig is up, he wants the driver to take off. There is five children in the back of that car, which means children are sitting on each other's lap. Because he's wanted, he wanted her to endanger his children. You know what I would have said? Fuck you. Walk. Harrison then guns it and deputies follow in hot pursuit. Look at those people fucking spinning out of control. And she, the fucking police have to ram her, which means those babies got hit. 64, you got Dashboard camera video from the deputy's cruiser shows the Dodge Charger crashing into another vehicle on the interstate. The deputy tries to pin Harrison in, but she speaks. Oh shit, she crashed into another vehicle. I thought they were spinning out because of the rain. This dumb bitch needs to be fucking thrown away too. Speeds off again. Authorities say she topped out at speeds of 124 miles an hour. Eventually, another deputy was able to do a pit maneuver on the Charger, causing it to spin off into a grassy area. 124 miles an hour with five children unbuckled in the back seat area but the passenger isn't done he gets out and makes i hope they shot him to run for it before he's finally tackled to the ground damn it ground. officers take harrison into custody without further incident they then find harrison's five children in the car you guys okay is that the one who's driving Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna make sure, and then if she doesn't want to take it, then um, we'll get your grandma. Okay, we'll get your grandma to come pick y'all up. Dep Five babies in the back of that fucking charger, and she's driving at 124 miles. Gets pit maneuvered because of it. Do these parents not think? Deputies say the kids, ages 4, 5, 9, 11, and 12, were all wedged into the back seat. None of them were wearing a seatbelt. Fortunately, none of the children were hurt. Investigators also found a loaded gun and drugs in the car. Harrison was charged... Loaded drugs and a gun with fucking kids. ...with aggravated assault, hit and run, fleeing, drug possession, cruelty to children, and child safety seat violations. Nah, she also needs child neglect, child abuse, and, um... Needs the fucking key thrown away. We end today's after hours in New Mexico, where it's a mom to be who. Last one, ladies and gentlemen. Ended up in cuffs. Police stopped a car with a female driver and a male passenger, who they say sped by them going more than a hundred miles an hour. Again, a fucking. You seen the child in there? Going over a hundred miles an hour. I'm afraid to go 75 on the fucking freeway. I do go 85, 90. But if my child's in the vehicle, I try not to, okay? Because I could endanger his life. The, this just shows how much disconcern they have for their fucking children. Hour. When the officer approaches the car, the woman is looking for her license. The passenger then asks if he can speak with the officer off to the side. I'm sorry, man. Um, she's not under my insurance, but she's driving me home. And I've been having a hard week. Well, a hard two weeks because I haven't had any jobs that came in. And uh, do you think I'm trying to take her home? If I'm being completely honest, she's just driving me around so I can feel better about myself, but I haven't had any jobs because I got stopped in August and no other mechanic job would take me. I've been seriously struggling, that's why she took my brother to drop me off, to drop him off, and she's just bringing me home, but... Um, 
that guy wants nothing to do with her. He even said, I have her drive me around to make me feel better about myself. That's girlfriend and she's just pregnant and the hormones kicked in and... Oh, and the bitch is pregnant. She's reproducing. Fucking God help us. I was saying some other things that made her a little emotional and she sped up and I was on her slow down, but... I said things that made her emotional, so she started speeding. She didn't listen, so it was all my fault. It's all my fault. You know damn well that man just got his ass tore the fuck up before that cop hit that window. A narcissist, a narcissist person will make somebody else feel like it's their fault that they did something stupid. That woman was in full control of her foot. She was full control of how fast she was going with children in the car. That woman is at fault, not this man. She's pregnant and the hormones take over, you know. So, I mean, if there's any issues, then I'll take full responsibility for it because everything's my fault. The officer here. That man is 100% abuse. I can tell you that right here, right now.